Welcome to Your Money, your weekly guide to protecting your cash. It's not just child benefit that's been cut. Government help for children's savings plans has already been reduced. We'll tell you your options a little bit later. First, though, BBC News has established that the financial authorities were warned repeatedly about the possible collapse of the money exchange firm Crown Currency months before it went bust. Thousands of people were left out of pocket when the company ceased trading earlier this week. But as Brian Milligan reports, both the Financial Services Authority and the taxman knew it was in trouble as long ago as February. When Crown Currency collapsed on Monday, it seemed that most people had lost currency for foreign holidays, amounting to several thousand pounds each. But following the launch of a Facebook campaign, it's emerged that many have lost life savings. One man we spoke to said he and his wife had lost well in excess of £50,000 by trying to buy a retirement home in France. Such victims were unaware that others were getting suspicious. Here's the first email that we sent to the FSA anonymously back in. A rival currency firm warned the Financial Services Authority and Revenue and Customs about Crown Currency as long ago as February and as recently as last week. They reported that deals being offered by the company were too good to be true. They pointed out that consumers were not aware that their money was at risk or that the authorities couldn't provide a safety net. Combining those, uh, that lack of security with the fact that they were offering exchange rates that seemed too good to be true uh, really rang alarm bells for us and we thought, well, this, this could potentially uh, go wrong at some point in the future and uh, they could end up uh, going bust or going into administration and, and racking up losses for their customers, which unfortunately uh, has been the case. Neither HM Revenue and Customs nor the Financial Services Authority would tell us whether they acted on those warnings. But in many ways, neither is really to blame because neither is fully responsible. Revenue and Customs only checks currency exchanges aren't involved in money laundering. The FSA only regulates the big operators. So consumers have very little protection. Out. So far, Peter Benstead, the boss of Crown Currency, has been reluctant to explain why it collapsed. Those who'd given him money will be lucky to get 10% of it returned to them and will have to wait many months to get it. That leaves consumers with several unanswered questions, including who is it that regulates this industry? Brian Milligan, BBC News. Well, if you've lost money in the collapse of Crown Currency Exchange, its administrators, MCR, have a helpline. It's 0844 826 8659. That's 0844 826 8659. Now, some of the thousands of people who lost money when Crown Currency collapsed tell their stories in today's money supplements in the newspapers. The Telegraph, for example, features one man who lost £7,500 and who's given up all hope of getting it back. Well, uh, also in the Telegraph uh, today, what Lord Hutton's review of pensions means if you're a teacher, nurse, soldier or civil servant. There's